So hi there folks, so we're going to continue with our videos in the instrumentation and technology and mathematics. Now, um, we're going to proceed with the algebra, GeoGebra Classic, and then we're going to produce some illustrations here, though I'm going to focus on the illustrations which are, you know, um, most important. So let's, uh, maybe I can start with uh, this uh, first three, and then we'll, from there we will uh, look into what we can do then. Um, before we start, um, let me just first put up here in the settings. Um, you can actually change the dimensions of your minimum, maximum x, y. Also, you you want you may want to not not show your axis or there, want to bold the the line, um, whatever you want. You can um, do it here. Um, the the grid, what kind of grid do you want? Um, Will it be like this one, the polar grid, uh, or this one, or whatever you do? But um, I'll stick with the default one, um, so that upper um, everything will be um, simple. Now let's start with this. Um, the first, the move um, tool makes you, you know, if you're go, if you're, if your um, cursor is on the right part of the screen, where you can see the Cartesian plane, if you're going to hold it, it will become like uh, the hand um, cursor, and then you can drag all wherever you want along or on the Cartesian plane. That's the purpose of the move. Okay, you may want to try and um, use the freehand shape. The freehand shape lets you write something on the Cartesian plane. It immediately changes your cursor from that hand or arrow into something like a pen. So you can draw something. For instance, I'm going to draw something from 2 to negative 2. It will become a line. Okay, as, as well, if your drawing is, is that straight, so it will become a line. For instance, I can do it like this. Uh, it may become a line, but seldom if you, if you do something which is not that eligible, so it will not pick, a, pick it up as a line, but instead it will just write it as freehand. Okay, so um, if I'm going to delete that, so make sure that you um, wrote it with uh, carefully. Like that, it will not register because it's kind of messy. So make sure that it's, oh my God. <laughs> okay, um, sorry for that. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to create a parallelogram. So it's not really a line. Okay, now that is what free hands do. Um, the other part here is the pen. The pen on the other hand, um, strictly doesn't change it into a line. So you, what you will do is just really just write over here, whatever you want to write. It will just register in GeoGebra as a stroke. Okay, so these are all strokes here. It will not be converted into a line, unlike the freehand um, shape that it may be converted into a line. So those are the first few um, things that we can do. So let's move it here. Okay, um, and then we're going to, we're going to explore the point. Um, what I'm going to um, use is just just this point. All the others are just um, not important unless you're studying something in geometry, algebraic geometry, and um, something in real um, you know complex analysis. Some midpoints we're going to use this later. Um, these are, are about um, functions. So points just you know just click on this part of the grid and it will, it will just create points, things like that. Okay, so those are points. You can also create points on objects, like on on lines, on shapes, and on um, basically anything here on the Cartesian plane. Okay, so we're going to make use. We're going to go back here later. You can also create a line. So what line would you want? Again, a, a definition of a line is that it goes on forever. Would you want a segment? Um, a segment with given length, if you want. A ray, and so on. So we're going to... Um, focus on the line segment and array here. So let's start off with the line. Um, say you want to start something with, um, I will select two points for my position as the as what is said here. I'm going to start with here with six, negative three, and I'm going to um, add another one at here. So that creates a line. Okay, so this is line I. With um, actually, if you're going to create a line, the equation of the line already is written there. So we have negative 3x plus 2y equals negative 24, given the two lines. So for those taking up analytic geometry, <laughs> you know what to do. Anyways, um, that is what lines do. Um, we can also create a segment, segment j, with um, segment j and i written there. Then I can also create a ray 
let's create a ray here. What we want is a starting point and then where we want to point the ray. Say I want to start with um, a point G here. And I want point here and then ha and continues to going down here. So those are basics, the basics. Uh, we may go back to the line and then you may want to have some intersect. Rem see here in the ray in the segment, we want to click on and uh, select an intersection of two objects and successively and we will to click on this first object and this line segment and it will create point n which is an intersect of line uh, line segment j and um, ray k you can see it there okay um, another one on the lines we can also create a midpoint or a center so we will select two points segment circle or conic so i will select the segment it will automatically create this um, midpoint at o which is the same with um, actually with n Okay, you can see it here. So um, O is also found in 9.5 and negative 1.5, which is the same with the intersect with our ray and our segment. Okay, so that's how we do midpoint and intersect. Uh, let's move on with the with the line. Uh, you can also create a vector if you want. Say you stack a starting point and an end point. Say I want to go travel from G. This is mainly used in um, linear algebra. So G going to H, so that's a vector from G to H. We call that vector U with um, these uh, symbols and matrix. Um, you'll face that if you're having um, linear algebra now, you understand that. Okay.